So as I was perusing down these social media streets, I said, this is enough for me to want to share some sensibility. All right, let's get into it, shall we? As you can see, there's a theme going on with these reality shows, right? And so just like Married to Medicine last season, you notice how they had Dr. G and Sweet T almost like trying to create this like love triangle, even though Quad says she ain't going, right? And she ain't got no interest in Dr. G no more, right? Hell, I'm sure many of you by this juncture have seen Dr. G and Quad's new man, honey, her man, her man, her man, getting into it. I believe that he was gonna whip Dr. G's ass, so he might have, I'm just saying, because Word on the curve is that Dr. G called police and filed charges. That's probably because he got them hands put on him, child. I don't know, people saying that he's still in love with Quad. That's what the people saying as I read through the comments. But I will say this, if I were Sweet Tea, and I like Sweet Tea, I would be concerned because I'm like, why you got all this energy for Quad and her new man, or whatever the case may be, you know, be it directly indirectly or adjacent feelings for quad you shouldn't have any energy toward her except being happy like oh child that's my past child honey let me just live in the present with my beautiful new wife shit sweet tea you better watch this as i'm just saying but anyway who you think you're talking to bro i'm talking to you mother you gonna do come on y'all no, no, no. like that because i know how your girl is get off. Get off. No. remember who you are you are a goddamn doctor so anywho I believe Carlos King is trying to emulate what um, Love & Hip Hop is doing by having Jasmine, Kirk and Rashida's supposed baby mama on the show and all up in Rashida and Kirk's face every five, 10 minutes. But you know, we're gonna blame Kirk and his three earrings for putting Rashida's silly wanna stay by my man, by my man, Aris, okay, in that situation, right? But anyway, to get to the point, I believe that Carlos is trying to do that with Love and Marriage Huntsville, but this ain't the Zeus Network, bruh, okay? I don't know what you and Kingdom Reign Production, your production company, what they're trying to do, but low key, I believe he wants Ariana to come on the show at this juncture, even though he promised Melody Cherie she would not. And even though Tisha, Kimmy, and all of them would be pulling their hair out if she did come on the show, I know they don't care for Melody, but yet they're gonna protect their own interests and for their men, their men, their men, Okay, them damn Scott brothers with their low down asses, right? So, because if Arion does come on the show, she's going to be an unhinged, loose cannon, just like Martell, and she will do his bidding, okay? And he is her puppet master, child. She come on there spilling every damn body binge. But you know the Scots 1.0 and 2.0, the men in particular, they have images stuff hold. And you know Tisha got to protect that sham of a damn marriage, allegedly, okay? But anywho, Again, to the point, I believe Carlos wants to have that confrontation with Melody. And he said that he would never blindside her, as it were, by bringing on someone on the show or blindside any of his cast members. Okay, I do remember him saying that before, that he would never do that. I don't know if I trust him like that. Shit, he might. Okay, if he thought the ratings would go through the roof, he would bring Ariane on the show to confront Melody or have her in places and spaces to make her uncomfortable. You know they want to push the girl off the damn show. He wants to be the Queen Bee, child. He wants to be the Beyonce of the show. But there can only be one Queen Bee, and that's Melody Cherie of Love and Marriage Huntsville. It is what it is, okay? But you know, Carlos wanted to be like Puffy, dancing all in the damn videos, child. Anywho, he wants to be all on the damn show. He wants to be seen like Andy Cohen. But you know what the gag is? Honey, all of them are a day late and a dollar damn short. Damn, Ariane had been coming on live for years since the inception of the show, telling her damn story. Ain't shit changed, except whatever lies Martell and her concoct, okay? Basically, ain't nothing changed as far as anything new. There are no new developments because they put everything on damn social media. We see every damn thing. From the foil revenge p plot every damn thing her taunt melody telling her that i can take your man with my damn eyes closed bitch we can't tell because he still ain't married you or still ain't with you with your damn eyes wide open honey they may as well be eyes wide shut which is silly ass stuff girl anywho but anyway slaw is doing what bird brains and airheads do okay 
Honey, dropping it low and spreading it wide, mouth open and legs in the air. That's all they do, child. Like a damn receptacle, like a cum dumpster. Ooh, did I say that out loud? Yes, I did. And also, on top of that, you done told your story on damn Tasha K. Did damn interviews with Nate, this one, that one. We know your damn story. Ain't nothing new, child. Honey, you should have had a damn YouTube channel or been monetizing a long time ago, silly ass self. <laughs> the fuck? So anyway, I'm gonna play the video clip and y'all drop that in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all think after you see the little clip of the side chick brigade trying to confront Yandy and Mendeecee. Yandy said, bitch, I'm not going that today or tomorrow. She said, Mendeecee's might not be ish, but you ain't gonna be the one to confront him embarrassing me and him on national TV. Child talking about Jasmine's little friend. Just gonna let your husband f somebody else. Why am I f I'm Don't first of all, you be f everybody in Atlanta. And everybody knows you. You're not gonna talk to him. But I am. What are you gonna do? 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 What are you gonna do?